St. Avitus, Abbot, 530, Shatya Dun, Orleans. St. Avitus was a native of Orleans, and, retiring into Auvergne, took the monastic habit, together with St. Calais, and the Abbey of Menet, at that time very small, though afterward enriched by Queen Bruni Hall, and by St. Boner, Bishop of Claremont. The two saints soon after returned to Massy, a famous abbey situated a league and a half below Orleans. It was founded toward the end of the reign of Clovis I. By St. Euspices, a holy priest, honored on the 14th of June, and his nephew St. Maximin or Mesmin, whose name this monastery, which is now of the Cistercian order, bears. Many call St. Maximin the first abbot, others St. Euspices the first, St. Maximin the second, and St. Avitus the third. But our saint and St. Calais made not a long stay at Miski, though St. Maximin gave them a gracious reception. In quest of a closer retirement, St. Avitus, who had succeeded St. Maximin, soon after resigned the abbacy, and with St. Calais lived a recluse in the territory now called Dunoy, on the frontiers of La Perche. Others joining them, St. Calais retired into a forest in Maine, and King Clotaire built a church and monastery for St. Avitus and his companions. This is at present a Benedictine nunnery, called St. Avia of Chatillardun, and is situated on the Loire, at the foot of the hill on which the town of Chatillardun is built, in the Diocese of Chartres. Three famous monks, Leoban, afterwards Bishop of Chartres, Euphronius, and Custicus, attended our saint to his happy death, which happened about the year 530. His body was carried to Orleans, and buried with great pomp in that city. Amen.